we understand that the canon came together over the course of multiple councils. And in these councils, it was decided, it was a bunch of bishops came together and decided which books belonged in the canon and which books don't belong to the canon. Do you believe that what you believe is the one true church? Do you believe God gave the one true church authority to pick and choose which scriptures was his word and which ones weren't? Uh, yes, because otherwise, like, how would we know that Esther is in the book of the is a book of the Bible? Or how do we know that the book of Jude is in the is in the Bible? We don't. We have to have someone tell us which books are in and which books aren't. And so like often I'll talk to people and they'll say, Well, the Bible this, the Bible, I'm like, well, which Bible are you talking about? Because not everyone, not all Christians on earth agree with what the Bible is. Like you're working with a Bible that was curated and selected by Martin Luther in the 1500s. Now, are you going to go with that? Or there's other viewpoints on what the Bible is. And so, yes, and we Catholics believe in the year of our Lord, 382, there was a council in Rome and the Pope at that time was named Pope Damasus. And they finally decreed and said, this is the Bible. It's the 27 books of the New Testament. It's the whole Old Testament canon, which corresponds to the Septuagint, and it's what the Protestants know, plus seven other books. So the books of our Bible actually come out to 72, if you understand Baruch as part of Jeremiah, uh, which is a holy number, and that's the that's the New Testament canon. And we say Martin Luther had no authority to say, well, this is my canon. I mean, who's he? How do Catholics view Martin Luther? Nobody asked that question on Twitter, but I saw people bring up Martin Luther. So he's a heresy arc. Okay. which is like an arch heretic. Like he's a real bad heretic. The bad thing about Luther is, is he believed in justification by faith alone. And when he translated Romans chapter three into German, he actually wrote just, justified by faith alone. But in the Greek, there is no alone. He added that word in the Romans chapter three. So all these German people read the Bible like, oh yeah, it's, it's faith alone right here in the Bible. No, you're excommunicated. You can't just like add words in the Bible to make your pet theory work. So yeah, Luther is... He's a bad guy and he's a heretic.